Hey everyone, welcome to Draw My Saint, where we dive into the unique lives of inspiring faith leaders. This week, we're tackling Joan of Arc. Let us know in the comments down below which saint inspires you. The patron saint of France and soldiers, Joan of Arc is one of the most famous saints in the world. But beyond her martyrdom, what is there to know about this brave girl who battled for her nation? Joan of Arc was born around 1412 in Grux Dolmeny, located in southern France. She grew up in a strong Catholic family with loving parents, a sister, and three brothers. As a kid, Joan loved helping around the farm that she called home. Throughout her early life, she proved to be devout and would often visit the chapel and offer prayers to the Lord. At the age of 13, she was given the grace to hear the voice of St. Michael the Archangel, and later at age 16, she heard St. Catherine and St. Margaret, who Joan admired for their purity and bravery, speak to her as well. The saints spoke to her about the political turmoil that was occurring in France at the time. She was called by the saints to help the French crown prince, the Dauphin, reclaim his throne from the invading English. At the time, she was confused by this calling due to her lack of education, but she trusted in the Lord and went to the Dauphin, Charles, to tell him of her mission from God to help him fight off the English. At first, Charles was a bit skeptical. But the Lord ultimately inspired Charles to put Joan of Arc on the front line to lead his army into battle. She faced the battlefield bravely, carrying a banner with the names of Jesus and Mary inscribed on it, and on May 8, 1429, she led the French army to victory over the English in the Battle of Orleans. After this battle, she gained her well-known title of Maid of Orleans. After serving with the military for 15 months, Joan of Arc was captured by Burgundian troops who were soldiers under the power of the Duke of Burgundy, Charles the Bold. She was sold to their English allies for 100,000 golden francs. The English were pretty salty about their loss and thus tried to convict Joan of Arc of heresy and witchcraft, using the evidence of her cross-dressing as a man and fighting in battle, which wasn't allowed for women at the time. For the next year, she was imprisoned and repeatedly questioned by the Bishop of Vouvain, Pierre Cocon. The English were extremely cruel to Joan, but her true pain stemmed from the apathy of the Dauphin, who quickly forgot about his savior in the form of Joan of Arc after his coronation as King Charles VII of France on July 17, 1429. Despite all the mistreatment she endured, the Maid of Orleans still prayed unceasingly for both King Charles VII and her English oppressors, asking the Lord to forgive them. She was eventually tricked by Bishop Cocon and condemned as a heretic to be burned at the stake at age 19. While she was being burned, St. Joan of Arc felt the constant presence of Christ and cried out his name in the midst of her excruciating pain. She died on May 30th, 1431. After her death, her family demanded a trial take place to show that Joan wasn't a heretic, and after seven long years, Joan of Arc was rehabilitated in the Catholic Church. 450 years later, she was canonized on May 9, 1920, by Pope Benedict XV, and the day she died, May 30th, was named her feast day. St. Joan of Arc serves as a wonderful example of bravery and trusting in the Lord. She inspired soldiers during her time on earth and continues to inspire the entire Catholic community in the modern age after her death. We hope you've learned something new about this courageous young Catholic martyr. Share this video with someone who you think is brave or who needs an example of courage in their life. St. Joan of Arc, pray for us.